In short, Earthships make very efficient use of the captured water by using it four times. First, you use it to wash, then to water your indoor garden, then to flush the toilet, then to water your landscaped garden. System filter. Before any water falls from the gutter into the cistern, you need to filter it with gravel and a silt catcher to keep the unwanted solids out of the cistern. Right. This cistern can hold 1,700 gallons of water. There are three more on their way, so the total amount of water held will be 6,800 gallons. This particular one is made out of plastic, which is durable and resistant to rust and chemicals. Water capture. Clouds move around the world propelled by air currents. For instance, when they rise over mountain ranges, they cool, becoming so saturated with water that water begins to fall as rain, snow, or hail, depending on the temperature of the surrounding air. Water from clouds is captured by the roof and channeled to gravel filters and silt catchers. So when it reaches your cisterns, it's clean. The water from the cisterns is then gravity fed into a water organizing module that pumps and filters water into a pressure tank for consumption and house usage. Sewage. Every time we wash something or flush the toilet, we create wastewater. Wastewater from sinks, showers, baths, kitchens and washing machines is called grey water. Usually grey water will contain household chemicals like soap and detergents and easily degradable organic materials like fat and oil. Consequently, grey water is channeled through a filter or digester for grease and particles then sent into an indoor deep rubber lined botanical cell. A botanical cell is a built soil ecosystem that consists of various soil layers. The first layer, composed of gravel, to allow water to flow and provide good aeration or oxygenation, preventing nasty smells. At the top of the botanical cell, plants absorb water by the process of transpiration, where evaporation from the leaves enable water to be absorbed through the roots. Nearby root soil dries out. The water at the bottom slowly flows towards the drier soil near the plants. The flow allows phosphates and household chemicals to be completely filtered. The peat moss provides additional filtering, efficiently eliminating heavy metals, if any. At the end of the botanical cell, there is a grey water organising module which pumps the treated water to the toilets. Once the toilets are flushed, water now contains faecal coliforms and loads of organic materials. This is called black water, which goes to the septic tank. After the liquids are separated from the solids, the treated water is then channeled to an exterior landscaping botanical cell, feeding outdoor plants in the same manner as the grey water botanical cell. Planter cells. These botanical cells filter grey water while acting as a watering system for a fruit, vegetable and herb garden. Since it is inside the Earthship and orientated to have sunlight, there's food production year round. Also, outside planter cells use treated black water for landscaping plants. Septic tank. A septic tank separates solids from liquids and uses anaerobic digestion by bacteria to treat the black water. By insulating it and adding heat, the process is accelerated. Food production. To survive, grow and reproduce, plants need water, sunlight, carbon dioxide, oxygen and nutrients like phosphorus and nitrogen. All of these are found inside the Earthship, allowing many edible plant options to grow in your botanical cell. In short, Earthships can grow food year-round by providing sunlight all year, protection for the plants from extreme conditions like frost, an automatic watering system, a good soil composition and nutrients from grey water like nitrogen and phosphorus.